Welcome back to a, another episode of the For the Property Investor podcast. And uh, we're here with the expert series uh, interview. And uh, we've got the uh, wonderful Tiffany Brown with us today, who is a buyer's agent. And welcome, Tiffany. Thank you so much, Owen. Thanks for having me today. Yes. And, and you're, you're not just any buyer's agent. You're an, a, an award-winning buyer's agent. Um, so um, we're, we're very privileged to have you on and, um, and you operate in a, in, in a market that we haven't had anyone on before to talk about, I believe. Um, and, uh, and that's the Adelaide market in South Australia. So, um, yeah, great to have you on board. But um, um, please, let, let's um, uh, give us a bit of a rundown of... of how you got started in real estate and and became a, a buyer's agent? Sure, Owen. Well, I've been in the industry now, in the in the real estate industry for eight years, which has gone quite quickly. And yeah. I have a banking background prior to oh. my time in real estate. So quite What were you doing in banking? A, a variety of... Uh, diverse roles from specialised lending to uh, risk management. So uh, worked with, um, well, was was part of the one of the previous property booms we had. So that yeah. was quite insightful. Uh, and so that's really been quite complementary to the work I do now and in serving uh, buyers, particularly you know, both, both types of clients, but particularly with investor clients. Okay. So that was 13 yeah. years uh, in the banking industry prior to coming into real estate. And uh, it did happen quite organically. Um, I moved into real estate and I was uh, within, before launching into my own brand, I was within another brand and mm -hmm. uh, running the a boutique agency. And then over the, the time there, I got my land agent's license and had planned to go into sales. However, it was one pivotal moment that shifted all of that when I was introduced to a buyer who was really struggling and genuinely wanting to help that person. I yeah. looked into that and, and found a way to make that economically viable for both of us the both sides within that yeah. brand that I was working in and that was the start of my career as a buyer's agent and wow yeah and since then I really uh did a lot of work around researching into this industry and this space and serving serving clients and uh have had you know, years of experience since then and was grateful to uh, to win the Buyer's Agent of the Year for South Australia in 2022. So that has yeah. been, that has sort of shaped, um, helped shape the future from there. And as well as several other nominations. Yes, that, yeah. So that's yes. right. I've won a couple of leadership awards uh, over the last few years and have been, yeah, finalists just recently last weekend uh, at our awards night for this year. So it's been an incredible few years. Um, but yeah, have, I'm absolutely loving uh, the, the, the company that I'm running now, which is Buyers Agents Adelaide, and yeah. have a, a fantastic team that's absolutely flourishing. So when exactly, what year was it into that uh, eight-year career of in real estate that that first, um, you know, transaction by accident as a buyer's agent happened? Mm -hmm. So that was 2020, 2021. Okay. So time. only three years ago. That's right. That's right. And it has been uh, a very full uh, few years since then, just really building on that momentum and that learning and growth. Okay. And we really have in, in these last uh, probably, what, three to six years, but especially in the last three years, seen that rise of the buyer's agent, haven't we? Um, and um, you, being in the Adelaide market, um, ha have are there a lot of active buyer's agents uh, working in the Adelaide market itself? Yeah, look, the industry is absolutely 
rapidly growing. It's probably one of the fastest industries in Australia that mm. is uh, that is moving in this this speed. But it really makes sense because people uh, have different challenges when they're buying property, whether it's if they haven't bought it before, you know, it's the first time for them or uh, they're geographically limited, they're professionals that are quite busy, don't yeah. have a lot of time, um, or the experience or the relationships to get great deals for yeah. themselves uh, and even how to navigate that to begin with. Uh, so it is growing quite quickly and it is definitely growing in South Australia. We certainly yeah. don't have the numbers that you do in other cities and states around the country, but yeah. it is it is growing. And I take a very, I take, you know, I have a strong vision around the the industry in general and also in South Australia of it being very collaborative and supporting yes. each other. So later today I'm actually meeting with, with a, a new buyer's agent who approached me and and wanted to to catch up, so we're having lunch together to to discuss the journey and and what it's like to be a buyer's agent and serve serve people in around the state and around the country. Fantastic, and, and that that's probably uh, the best thing that I think has come out of from a big picture point of view of of the rise of the buyer's agent in Australia is it's it's formed a much more collaborative relationship between um, different agents where it was always this battle before um, between one agent and another. But now you've got um, buyer's agents who work with sales agents and there's um, a, a real working relationship there. And um, and, and I think it's um, helped the industry to realise that, uh, uh, you know, we don't need to be combative with it with everyone else uh, in the industry. So, so that that's a great thing. Um, now, I know you work with a, a lot of owner occupiers and investors, um, but um, yeah, can you can you uh, give us a bit of an idea of of um, you know uh, who you do work with and and, and why and um, and um, how you're helping those clients. Yeah, sure, Owen. So I have, I think when you start as a buyer's agent, you generally, you know, you, you may not know exactly where, uh, you know, which client you want to serve. So, but for me, um, I've I've always served home buyers and investors. Mm. And quarterly, I review that and it flows sort of from 60 to 50, 50 to 40, 60 on either okay. side of that. So it's quite consistent in terms of working with both of those groups. And I do genuinely like serving both of those groups for different reasons. But ultimately, who I serve is really about their their needs and mm. not wanting to discriminate around, you know, helping a family that's moving. I've just had a family that are relocating back to South Australia, oh, back to Adelaide from another part of South Australia. And yeah. Uh, you know that yes every house we buy is an investment regardless of if we're living in it or not um that's how i see see that uh but not to discriminate against families like that i'm still yes yeah, still serving um, and very much enjoying serving uh the home the home buyer yeah and help them to to buy the property that they're really dreaming of right and um it's um being, as you mentioned before, there's there's a lot of ba uh, buyers agents who are, are based in Sydney and Melbourne, and uh, that's where a lot of um, the growth in the industry has happened, as well as Brisbane. Um, so, um, and Adelaide has been a bit of a hot spot with um, buyers agents over the last few years. Um, what, um, um, yeah, from from your experience in in the industry in the last eight years, and, and and in lending previous to that as well, you would know what what the market's been like for um, that period of time in Adelaide. What difference has it made um, having buyers agents um, from eastern states mainly um, coming in and bu buying up a lot of properties in in Adelaide? Uh, what difference has it made? 
Oh, in uh, in terms of the the, the number in terms of, of the in, in in terms of the industry um, and um, and working with with those agents and yeah. uh, as well as on uh, as well as the actual market itself and pricing and so on. Yeah, and demand. I think. Well, look, obviously Adelaide's been uh, a topic of uh, conversation in terms of. Uh, pricing affordability this year particularly and the growth we've had so there's been a lot of investment from other parts of the country and yeah uh, if there has been an impact um if that's um sort of what you're what you're asking in terms of has there been an impact of other interstate buyers agents you know coming in i i really haven't uh felt that as such uh, okay now, prices are continuing to increase but it's really for me my my ability to serve my clients and get great results is not negatively impacted by that more so positively because the more people that know about buyers agents then then the better because then the more people can have service and have help but being locally yes, based here you know I have those relationships People know that, that in Adelaide, pretty much everyone knows everyone. You know, there's there's somebody that <laughs> knows someone that you know um, everywhere you go. So having those relationships here is really critical. And, uh, you know, I have phone calls every day from agents. Tiffany, I've got this. Do you want to have a look at it um, before I share it with anybody else? Uh, so it's having those strong, you know, relationships with agents. I make it really easy for them so they keep coming back to me uh, to yeah. share those opportunities and we like doing business we have fun so uh yeah i think it's just that relevance and that um repetition of communication as well that helps with, with oh, good to hear. it's yeah that collaboration really makes a, a huge difference with being able to get the right result for your client um so what is it that you are seeing happening in in the adelaide market at the moment and um how has it changed from maybe a year or two ago so it's it is right now. I feel like there's a there's a small window that we have right now between now and Christmas time, yeah. of opportunities that uh, you know of an opportunity of a window to buy. What I what is on my mind and probably a lot of other buyers agents' minds for their clients is when the rates drop. Inevitably, when that happens or when that first rate drop happens, we will have a lot more confidence and we will have um, a, a pool of buyers coming into the market, increased competition. And I believe that if whoever wants to buy now is the time before Christmas, mm -hmm. if you can buy this, start, this side of Christmas, you will be winning because as soon as that rate ha drop happens, then you'll, you'll experience and benefit from some of that growth that's coming. So I believe there will be a little mini boom in that growth that's coming. Uh, and so that's a really difficult balancing act in terms of balancing out the inflation, but uh, I think that 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 will give uh, that will give us some growth probably in other parts of the country as well, but definitely Adelaide. And okay. so the exciting window that we have right now, and and then certainly over the Christmas period as well, when a lot of people take a break, there will still be people, uh, there will still be agents that have opportunities that are willing to have conversations and so over that christmas and january break early january there will also be some opportunities there as well to to buy some off-market opportunities that perhaps those vendors really do want to sell and that the wait time could be detrimental to them uh, instead of you know waiting till when people are back from holidays and bringing the property onto the market. So there's been a, there's a slight softening of pricing now. And I okay. also feel it's leading up to Christmas. It's people, you know, it's an expensive time. It can mm. be an expensive time. So there's a little bit less, uh, there's a little bit less um, pressure on the prices, yep. which is a win for anyone that's looking to invest in properties. Yes. So you've seen in the second half of this year that there's definitely been a softening in the Adelaide market? In the last, I would say, four to six weeks particularly. Okay, wow, yeah. Yes, yes. There's still really strong demand. There's still lots of buyers. Um, I have a wait list so that the in terms of the, the people that are looking, they're definitely still, there's lots of people looking for property. Uh, mm. But stock is still quite low. I didn't really see 
a massive increase in stock, um, yeah. a slight increase as we would expect for spring, but not huge. So the the uh, the conditions are similar, but there's a little bit of a softening. So, mm. and that's the difference that working with a, a buyer's agent can make, isn't it? Where um, you're seeing, yeah, you know, in just this last four to six weeks, that there has suddenly become opportunity. Uh, in the market because the market has shifted, um, where the media might be still three months behind with, um, you know, figures that were released three months ago and they're saying, oh, Adelaide's still booming, growing strongly. It's, um, uh, are you having those conversations with um, sales agents and, and, and clients and, and, and um, what, um, what are those conversations like? Yeah, absolutely, and that and that's a very good, um, yeah, a very good point um, around. I've just lost my train of thought. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely, a very good point around the lag, the time lag, yeah. absolutely. And and I am, I'm having when I started to see that it was actually one property that I purchased, and the the, the price was. A good twenty thousand, and this is a mid mid price point on around six hundred. The price yeah. was a twenty thousand less than um, I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah. So that was fantastic. That's a a good chunk of money on that price point. Yeah. And from there, yes, absolutely. I've been having those conversations with nearly every agent. What are you seeing right now? How is it different to a couple of months ago? Uh, so it's um it's enabling us to buy into different areas as well that we mm. wouldn't know um, potentially just with a twenty thousand dollar twenty to thirty thousand dollar difference that we might mm. not have been able to to buy okay. in because we're right on the cusp. So that's exciting as well. Mm. And, and we're we're seeing this with conversations <laughs> I'm having. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'm 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 having conversations with um uh, people right around the country and in all major markets. It it's across the board. It's um, uh, where this is happening, where it's um, there's a softening of the market in the last you know month or two, and it's um, and it just hasn't really come through in the media yet. And but v vendors who are trying to sell are, are starting to feel the pinch on price, and um, it's becoming easier to buy uh, for for people who can afford to buy. So um, yeah, as you said. Good, good opportunity uh, for anyone looking to buy right now um, before those uh, interest rates start to um, look at coming down. Whenever the RBA decides it's um, uh, it, it's it's that time, we we don't know. But uh, I mean, I guess that's what the higher interest rates are, are there for to do their job. Firstly, on inflation, and then and then house prices to um, to go from there. Um, and um, uh, where where do you it, Maybe to talk about uh, the real estate industry in in as a as a whole and and how buyers agents are, are playing a role in that. Where do you see that going in the in the maybe medium to long term? Look, I'd love to see. I would love to see every buyer or every person knowing that there is such a service. As a buyer's agent, everyone yeah. knows that when you sell it, sell a property. There is an agent, there is a professional that can assist you to do that, um, and that is a very wise decision. I'd love to get to the point where every person in this country uh, understands that there is a professional that can, and that it would be a smart move to align with, you know, an experienced person, uh, professional. Yeah. And serve you to ensure that you get the best best results uh, so and as the market shifts it'll be beneficial for different reasons uh, whether it's you know different stock levels if the stock levels change it'll be about um, being able to negotiate um, and have that have that strong skill uh, and and so there's different skills at different times but that's where I'd love to get to I don't know when that will happen but there's still a lot of people even in South Australia that really don't understand that that's available to them so I meet with a lot of mortgage brokers and can help to enable that through yeah. those conversations and and sometimes they'll say look um, and it's just also about helping them to uh, 
helping them also to not prejudge and helping people in general not to prejudge others because we really don't know what's going on inside somebody's um, mind, their, their, their family, their, their private um, situation. And so I, I do genuinely encourage I believe that everyone should have a right to to know that there's there's someone that can help you, someone that can lock arms with you, help um, you know through that process, take elevate this you know elevate the stress, alleviate the stress, and elevate the whole experience for you so that you can get a great result and you can actually start to grow your wealth and have a different have a future that looks different to today in a positive way. Right, and. Um... Talking about investors specifically buying at it in Adelaide, um, what what's the Adelaide market like for investors? Yeah, what sort of price points are they looking at? What sort of returns are they looking at? Yeah, so returns on, on average, all of the investment properties that we buy, we're looking at an average of four point five percent minimum on the rental yield, and right. usually relative to an average purchase price of perhaps on average 600 to 750,000 for an investment property it's not easy that's to buy. for a house yes freestanding yep. transpired property that is yeah. either, either a combination of partially renovated or um, and when i say renovated it could be a 1970s house that was renovated in the late 90s or yeah, there was, okay. there was renovation in 2005 um, of a kitchen and an original bathroom, yeah. so partial renovation or um, partially or, or or fully original. So that can yeah. vary depending on the area. It's not easy to buy under 600,000. There are, there's definitely opportunity and different buyers agents will have different areas in which and different categories of clients that they're working with in terms okay. of pricing and, and that type of thing. I, I, I really don't discriminate on 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 pricing uh, but I am very um, honest when it comes to what's what's possible it's not easy to buy a Torrens titled home under 600,000. Okay and, and what, if, what sort of radius away from um, um, Adelaide would that be? So great areas to buy in uh, well look if we're looking at the 600 to 750 um, great areas to buy in will be around Paralawi, Salisbury North has grown in about 22, 24%. Wow. Uh, and some of the Salisbury's in that sort of parallel pocket to, to or adjacent pocket to the beach. So anything from sort of Paralawi, Salisbury North, where we have the highway, which is gets you into the city in, in no time, or right across to Salisbury East, which is then close to some private schooling uh, and in some desirable areas there or northeast so northeast road you'll see either side of that once we get to uh, a little bit past the westfield and the hospital uh, banksia park Richhaven, fairview park those areas there are uh, low seven very high sixes to low sevens to mid sevens very okay. much you know occupied these areas are mostly uh, at least 70 to, to 90% owner-occupied, okay. but this wow. all happened in the last couple of years. In the in the Salisbury, Paralawi areas, it's really only happened in the last three to five years, just yeah. changed from investor um, uh, rent, rented properties to, to owner-occupied, which means that everything around it, it changes as well. Some develop, lots of developments happening in uh, in in the Salts, parallel to Salisbury East pocket as yep. well, not so much in the northeast pocket. They're more larger blocks, lots of lots of gum trees, and it's quite leafy, so that can nice. make things difficult when it comes to developing. But uh, but it's it's we're getting some yes yeah, some good strong rental yields around four point five plus percent, yep. and in any of those areas ranging from about fourteen percent growth in the to 25 percent growth in the last 12 months okay which and which for, is fantastic for, great it's and, and for people who don't know adelaide that well you mentioned a few suburb names but how far mm -hmm. from the cbd would it take yeah so 30 25 to 35 minutes across okay. all of those areas and then obviously we have the southern areas as well which Morfitt Vale around those areas a little bit more southern to those beach proximity so that's yeah. also growing rapidly in and around those areas as well because they're still quite quite affordable 
and that's our you know that's our first home buyers as well cool mm. all right well tiffany that's been a lot of great information about um what you do and and the industry uh, as well as adelaide itself so um thank you for um uh coming on the podcast and um uh if people wanted to find you to talk to you about your your um your services um i i i know that you're on all the socials but um is there anywhere specifically that uh, uh we can point people to absolutely so the best place to find me is either linkedin tiffany brown or buyers agents adelaide uh, instagram you can come along and, and connect with us there send me a message I'll be I'll be able to connect and have a chat. Would love to connect with anyone that might like to have a chat. Thanks so much for having Thank me, you. Owen. Thank you, Tiffany.